Well, hello and welcome to the channel. Today, I'm gonna to do something a little different. And the reason for this, this week marks the fourth year on YouTube. Over the past four years, I've been going out with my camera and just shooting locations. And that seems to have taken most of my time. And there's always been a few topics I've wanted to cover. Things that are probably on a lot of photographers' minds. And it's always quite difficult to actually cover these while you're out on field. You're trying to get the video sorted, you're trying to get the images sorted, you're trying to understand the whole day and trying to draw this video all together. So I thought I'd do a few separate videos, just on topics. So the reason why I'm doing this, well, I want to get other photographers' ideas, thoughts, inspirations on each of these topics. But at the end of each video, I'll give an introduction on what the next topic will be about. So it'll be something that you can get involved in, either on comments through this video, Instagram, or Facebook. I feel over the last four years, I've built quite a nice community within this channel. I've now got well over 1,500 subscribers, which is absolutely fantastic. But I feel it's time for you guys to get involved. Maybe you've never commented on my videos, never really know what to say. Well, this will be a great opportunity to do that, sort of get your views across. All comments, providing the relevant, will be read out on the next video. So that's the idea. I always get a real sense of community within YouTube. It always feels as if we're kind of like a family. You guys watch me, I talk to you, hopefully you guys listen. But it'd be a great opportunity now for you guys to interact with me. Let me know your thoughts and ideas. And, uh, and yeah, on each of these topics, it'll be great to have your point of view. So I will be looking to cover one of the topics at least once a week. Most of all, this isn't taken away from my normal vlog photography. I'm still gonna be going out to locations and doing the normal style vlog. I just thought it'd be nice to introduce something nice and refreshing. So the first topic will be sky replacement. Not just sky replacement, but over-processing on Lightroom and Photoshop, making it look like a different image than you originally took. The second, does gear matter? We'll have a look at your points of whether gear does matter, whether it's one of those things that you actually buy into. The third one, linking quite well onto that, will be all about DSLRs, mirrorless versus the phone. Have the phones moved on that well? The fourth being social media and the changes with Instagram at the moment and everybody seems to be moving across to Vero. Is it something you've done? And let me know your thoughts on Instagram and, and how it's all moved on. The fifth, keeping location secret. Something that's a bit of a bugbear of mine, but my thoughts might surprise you. The sixth, too many photographers, certainly on YouTube. Is it something that's been bombarded? Let me know your thoughts. Also a subtopic of this, and this probably puts us in a bit of a firing line. Do YouTubers make the best photographers? And then linking onto that topic is why are so many photographers leaving YouTube? And then the eighth, the final one of this season, long exposure photography and following the trends. So for the topic video of next week, will be sky replacement and over-processing images. So I guess I will just throw it out there for you guys to comment on whether you actually do sky replacements, over-process images, remove things in the foreground, the background, whatever you do. Let me know your thoughts and whether it's a, it's a good practice to follow. You may add stars in nighttime images. You might remove people and crowds from, uh, from busy locations, or it may be something that you've never done. Let me know the reasons why. It would be great to hear. Obviously, the more comments I get, the more I'll, I'll understand actually what you guys feel about sky replacements and, and over-processing. I'll put my points across as well. So I really hope you'll join me, get involved and be entertained by this new series I'm creating on this channel. If you don't want to comment on this video, I'll put my Instagram details up and uh, yeah, you can direct message me on there. Either way, it'll be great to hear from you. Obviously, we're bringing a video out once a week. The timescale is quite tight. So once I release this video, if you can comment within four days, that would be great. It'll give me enough time to sort of get the next video, sort of research what you've, you've talked about and, and sort of bring it all together for the, next, uh, for the next video for you to watch. So the sooner you reply, the more chance you've got of having your comment read out. So before I leave, I just want to say thank you for the past four years. A lot of you guys have been there from the beginning, but also there's a lot of new people that have started to follow the channel as well. And everybody's welcome. And I hope this will be a great way to interact with you more and get your thoughts on each of these topics. Well, I better wrap up, get my gear ready and head out for my next photography vlog. That should be out the week after. And I'm really hoping the weather improves. It's absolutely grey out there. Anyway, thanks for watching. Take care. See you very, very soon. Bye-bye now.